Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday fun day. Check this out. Ah, uh, yeah. Check this out. Check out Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. Good morning, Josh. How are you, bro? Look at that. Sunrise over the water. Absolutely peaceful Sunday morning. Peaceful Sunday morning. Who else is awake? Feeling good, Josh? Been riding? I did 25 miles yesterday. Today we're going to do uh, maybe like 10. I got to get out of here. I got an open house today. Those of you out there, Josh is one of my We Ride at Dawn Apex brothers. We met, uh, I don't know, it was about four or five months ago now. Not even, right? When was uh, MDM? And, uh, yeah, losing our signal. We're losing our signal. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. All right. Hopefully, we don't lose our signal. Hopefully, everyone can hear me. MDM. What was that? That was the end of April, I think, right? I don't know. Time flies. I can't believe it's August already. It's a new month, new opportunity. All right. So let's jump on here quick. I gotta get a message in. I gotta finish my ride. I gotta pack up. I gotta get back home. I got an open house. I got some showings. Unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, today is a work day. I'm blessed to be able to have the opportunities to go make some money, help some friends, but uh, I would rather stay out here all day. So that is that. So message, message, message. You know what I want to talk about today? Um, it's two parts. Um, following your gut, we've talked about before. But being intentional with relationships in your life. Um, I'm in the process of writing a book, um, just getting started on it. And uh, the theme of the book is all about relationships, the relationships in life. So yesterday, I did my ride. And um, I like to go to this uh, place called Beach Bakery in West Hampton. I ride there. There's a bunch of tables outside. Uh, great bakery, all fresh baked stuff. And uh, I grab coffee and I grab a muffin or something and I sit there and I talk to people and I people watch for a couple minutes in between my ride so I got there yesterday morning place was packed busy Saturday morning um, all the tables were full as I walked up there was a lady sitting by herself at a big table and kind of just caught my eye something inside me said you know talk to her so uh, I went inside I got my coffee I came out there was still no empty tables and you know, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, a lot of us have anxiety about meeting people and whatnot. So it's kind of awkward to walk up to someone and start talking to a stranger. But I said, you know what? Swallow my uh, pride or whatever. Suck it up. And walked up and said, hey, do you mind if I join you? You know, if you see, she said, sure. So uh, we start talking. And it turns out it's her birthday. And she's out here by herself. Older lady. Um, she's telling me how she hasn't been out in West Hampton in like 30 years and how uh, she's been in Manhattan, and she's got a place in Long Beach. Uh, she turns out to be a uh, psychotherapist, which God knows I need more therapy. So uh, we started chatting, and I chatted with her for, it had to be an hour and a half, an hour and a half. Um, talked about life. Um, in the process of life, I told her where I lived, which is Malvern. Turns out her doctor's office is in Limbrook, which is the next town over. Um, She's telling me that she's thinking about selling her doctor's office. It's actually like an office condo. I wanted to know my thoughts on that. Um, then she told me how she really likes West Hampton and even that she liked uh, River Heggs. It's kind of up and coming that she wants to sell her place in Long Beach and buy something out here so that she can do. Uh, she also has a place in Manhattan. So this way she'll do the Manhattan Hamptons deal rather than uh, Manhattan Long Beach deal. Because uh, Long Beach is getting a little bit more uh, more crowded, a little more party central kind of kind of ish, where the Hamptons is a lot more laid back and a little more quieter. So, um, so we're talking about that. Then she tells me about um, she's got an opportunity to buy a two bedroom uh, condo in Manhattan in the building she's in, 
uh, under market value, under a million, and it's probably worth put together a million and a half or so. And so there's an opportunity there. It's an estate sale. They're selling it as is. And she's telling me how she's become an ac accidental flipper through the years at different properties she's bought. Um, and when she sold them, she made a good amount of money. Um, and she's actually looking at the opportunity to flip some more houses um, unintentionally, intentionally. So uh, we had a great conversation, um, kind of leaned on each other a little bit. Um, she's divorced, went through some rough times, uh, rebuilt her life, and uh, is doing good now. And uh, something, something made me stop and talk to her. And if I didn't stop and talk to her, I wouldn't have made this friend. Uh, we wouldn't have shared some great conversation. And at the end of the day, uh, there may be some business opportunities uh, that came out of it. Um, I can help her find something out here. Uh, possibly help her sell Long Beach. She's got a great condo overlooking the ocean. Um, help her out with her office condo in Limbrook. Um, and I really feel that um, God puts people in our lives for a reason. Uh, a lot of those people, someone like Josh here that um, I met, has been inspirational to me, his rides, his prayers. Um, we all inspire each other. We all cross paths for a reason. So make sure you're intentional. If, you're, if your gut says, you know what, I should talk to that person, there's a reason for that. Um, make sure you talk to the people in your life. Make sure you talk to everybody, not just the people in charge. If you're in a restaurant, talk to the busboy. Talk to uh, the waiter. Talk to the bartender. Talk to the hostess. We get to know their names. People like when you know their names. Um, it makes them feel important. Um, I'm bad with that. I'm horrible with names. I got so much nonsense going on in my head. You know, I make it a point to say, try and say hello to everyone, meet everyone. I got to be more intentional with learning people's names because my head's just full of crap. And, um, but um, just my message for today is be intentional with your relationships. Make it a point to talk to people. Make it a point, point to find out what they're about. Um, put a smile on her face. I think she was a little lonely out here on her birthday. Um, kind of living in the Hamptons, uh, reliving the Hamptons from her childhood and she grew up here. Um, and now looking to uh, buy something out here. So um, again, totally intentional, real feel good, real feel good conversation. We exchange numbers and uh, we're gonna talk this week about uh, some real estate opportunities and uh, possibly about life some more. So uh, just kind of neat, just kind of neat. And if I never stopped, if, if I didn't follow my gut, and I didn't walk over and, and get out of my comfort zone and talk to her, um, you know, we never would have had this conversation, never would have had this opportunity. So that being said, think about that. Think about that as you walk past that person standing by themselves, stop and say hello. Say good morning to people in the morning. Say hello, you know, say good night, whatever it is. Just be intentional, be intentional. All right, so let's jump in prayers. Sunday, fun day, we got to do prayers. Take you to church a little bit. Um, all right, let's jump in there. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, oh, please look over all the people in our lives. Um, please help us be intentional with our relationships. Help us get out of our comfort zone. Help us to change the lives of others. Help us to put a smile on other people's faces. Um, we are here to help each other. We are here to um, do God's work. So God, we thank you for all these opportunities you put in front of us. Thank you for the beautiful sunrises, <clears throat> beautiful waters, beautiful landscapes, beautiful sky. Beautiful friends, beautiful people, beautiful family. Um, we thank you for everything you provide in our lives daily, and we are thankful. So, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Happy Sunday. Get out there. Say hello to someone. Be intentional. Change the world. Make someone smile. We're all in this world together. So, God bless everyone. Oh, open house. 61 Lawrence Avenue in Malvern, 549, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, we're doing open house from 12 to two today. So I'm getting out of here. Want to buy a house? So let's go, let's go buy a house. All right, Malvern, 12 to two.
61 Lawrence Avenue, three bedroom, two bath, 549. Taxes are about 11 without star, which is low. It sounds crazy for the people out of the area, but that's low for our area. So, um, all right, everyone, God bless. Happy Sunday.